Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus is here again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. Concerned this morning, what can we do to make this a better world for us all? I ask that with the thought in mind. There is not a human being on the face of the earth today in the right mind that wants anything other than satisfaction out of life. They're here, every last one of you who hear my voice and even those who don't. In this life, you want to be satisfied. That basically means your needs met. You gotta hear your needs met. Can't be satisfied, your needs not met. You want your wants to be met. What I want to happen, you want that to happen. And as far as you're concerned, to have that is extraordinary. Now beyond that, your desires. We're talking about things beyond your wants. These, your desires, met as well. Now, that means basically, ladies and gentlemen, that those things that are obvious for survival, like food and clothing and shelter and education and health care and transportation and infrastructure and computers and telephone and all of the things that have been made possible, You might not want all of them, but access to those that you do want. If the last one of you require, or should I say desire, at least that. And that would all be included in being satisfied. Now that involves every man, regardless of gender, oh, excuse me, regardless of color, nationality. Same for women. Same for old folks. Same for young folk, all over the globe. Now I ask you, is there a government on earth that offers this to the people? When I mean offer it, I mean the people who, however that system is designed, this is a benefit, this is an approach, this is a goal, and this is an accomplishment. Any government? Is there any international involvement? Is there any church, religious order that advocates? So, if out of all the institutions that exist on the face of the earth, none of, of them exist to carry out the needs, the wants, the desires and pursuit of satisfaction for the people. None, nowhere. And who is considered the power behind governments? In most instances, they say it's the people, especially in a democracy. Other forms, they might say something else, but the truth of it is that it is the people that got the power. The people say it's over, it's over, if they mean it. Nothing exists without the people when they say it's over and they mean it. Or when they want to build anything, they can, if they want to. So, when you think about what's happening around the world, where you find these democracies where people are trying to turn them into just little power brokers for themselves, or little casinos for themselves, when the people, the masses, do not matter, as in the United States of America, you see what's going on. And yes, we see some of the worst things made available right before our very eyes, and it is absolutely despicable. Yet it's happening, and there are those who are trying to disown them as being something that's nasty, something that's ugly, something that's evil, and say that it's something necessarily that's needed. We don't have to go any further than the precepts, concepts of the Republican Party versus that of the Democratic Party. We talk about conservatives and liberals. Conservative knows that there are going to be people left out, but it's okay because it's a conservative way of living. Liberals, I don't know what the liberals. They don't. I don't know what the liberals think. All I know is what you, every last one of you, desire and want and need to be satisfied in this life. And I know that all over the globe, 
if you talk to three people, you're going to find three different perspectives on any subject matter that you're basically talking about. That means that the people have been so misled, it's absolutely pathetic. And so the stuff that's happening across the globe happens because of where you've been taught. And every last one of you think you've been taught right and everybody else has been taught wrong. And at the same time, neither of you got an answer. But there is an answer. But it's not in you. It's outside of you. And that's God, a spirit, invisible, that is all around us and everywhere that allows us to be good, to allow us to do those kinds of things that would make and assure that our needs, our wants and desires are met. But it is controlled by you, the people. When you plant the seed, this will be your result. As long as you're doing something else, these things that we see every day are our results and will remain our results. And it doesn't matter how much you point fingers at everybody else. How many of you, again, are considering? Let me give you an example and then I'm going to go. The simple way that that spirit I call God has gendered this to happen, to occur. It is that every individual on earth that I just got through describing who would want their needs met, who would want to be satisfied in life, every last one of them, that's you. God made it to be that way. Because when you come into this earth, you come with a gift. Something that's to be nourished. So that at the proper time you can contribute in the process of all that's happening on earth to enable it to maximize itself to the degree that no one would ever have to suffer a lack of anything. You came to the earth to do that. So that basically means you are brought up in such a way that everyone engages themselves in the process of life. Everybody wants to live. Everybody engaged in the process of creating living. And if anybody's doing that, they're working for the spirit of the almighty God, working for you, that you don't have to suffer. But if they're not doing that, then they are working against you. I don't care how much they tell you they're headed in that direction. Until you get in that direction, start feeling the benefits of it, you losing it. So if you think you're on that path, you better work fast. So ladies and gentlemen, I think that's pretty good. I think I'll leave it there. Let you ponder it and see what happens. Until next time, this is Eddie Marcus Say, <laughs> You want to blame somebody. Blame yourself. Blame yourself. You are not doing what you are supposed to be doing. Stop right there. You get up, get on the good foot. You'll be surprised at how things change. Goodbye.